Hello everybody, Anderson Gaming here and today we are going to be benchmarking Returnal. This is a PlayStation game and it's out on PC. It has been out for four days uh, by now. So today we are going to be benchmarking this game at 1440p. Depending on how high or low the frame rate is at 1440p, I'll decide if I have to do even 1080p as well. So as you can see, the game already has detected that the high graphics preset is going to be the best for our hardware. So let's go ahead and check the settings. Let's turn off VSync. Unlimited frames, as always. I'm not sure what this option does, so I'm just going to ignore it. Field of view bias. Uh, I think we'll just leave it at zero because it's a different value here. All right, so I think we'll start from the highest settings. And then as we work our way up, we'll lower the settings. So we can do epic, I guess. There's already a preset tab over here. So we can choose any preset we want at the top. So I have chosen epic. I'm not going to be turning on ray tracing. So ray trace shadows will be off. Lighting quality, shadow quality, ambient occlusion, epic. Screen space reflection is on, ray traced reflections is off. Like I said, no RT for now, but as we go up, we shall try it. Epic, environment, model quality, epic, texture quality, epic, volumetric fog, epic, particle quality, epic. Post processing, anti aliasing. I'm not sure if this game has DLSS because DLSS does come, come under the category of anti aliasing. I think uh, let's leave it at epic. We can't see anything for now. Depth of field is turned on. I would like to turn down film grain. Film grain is something I'm not honestly a huge fan of. Bloom is turned on. Emissive intensity. I don't know what this is. But as we get through the benchmark, we'll decide if it's something important. So I think we'll only run the benchmark for now. So we are going to be running the benchmark at 1440p. Epic preset with ray tracing turned off. No DLSS, as far as I can see. So let's begin. So we are done with the epic preset 1440p benchmark run and as you can see there is a lot of data being presented here so we have the frame rate average maximum minimum which is 61 average minimum being 34 but i think that's a bit too low 
Then again, this is a quite recent game that came out. CPU, GPU, and the benchmark is broken down into multiple zones. We have seven here. We have seven zones here. And here's my config, which is something I like about this game. It's telling you guys about my hardware. So here you can see I have a, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, which is what I am benchmarking on, which is what this video is all about. The processor I'm using is an AMD Ryzen 7 5700G. I have my Radeon graphics turned off, so I'm only using the CPU. This is equivalent to a 5700X, so even if I do have the G, it doesn't really matter. So if you want a, a reference point, I can offer that the 5700X is the equivalent performance to this one that I have, the 5700G, or even in some cases the 5800X, which is actually slightly faster, but still. Uh, the performance that you're going to be seeing is going to be very similar to those two AMD CPUs. As for Intel, I could say in case if anyone is watching this video and you do have an Intel CPU but you have the same GPU as mine, the performance of my 5700G is equivalent to a Core i9-11900K. So there's a reference point for all of you. So it is uh, equivalent to an i9 that came out two years ago. If you're buying a 12th gen Intel processor or a 13th gen Intel processor, chances are you could be seeing better performance than what my CPU has to offer here. I do have 32 GB RAM and so far it did not use a lot of VRAM while it was doing the benchmark but I do feel like this game was a bit heavy and you can see it's uh, showing certain data here. Alright, so now we are done with the uh, hardware overlay. Let's go on to the software overlay. So I'm using MSI Afterburner to turn on the overlay at the top right corner. This shows you all the data that you need. So the first 16 numbers, that is my CPU, core count and thread count. I'll mention the numbers columns in order. So the first number is the temperature of the CPU. The second number is the utilization. The third number is the clock speed and the fourth number is the power usage. The last CPU number is the entire package ram is self-explanatory i don't have to say that d3 d12 is the frame rate of the game so this is a directx 12 game gpu is my gpu uh, hardware information so the first column is my overall temperature of the gpu the second column is the gpu usage percentage this number over here is the clock speed of the gpu this number is the entire power draw of the GPU. This is the voltage of the GPU. And as you can see, I have underclocked it. But for the most of you who are using this, uh, you should expect similar performance, hopefully. But if you are using a cheap variant like mine, the MSI Ventus or Gigabyte Eagle, Zotac, if you're using a cheap variant of the 3060 Ti, do expect that if your temperatures go beyond 70 degrees, the clock speed might drop a little to 1845 or even uh, 1775 or 1785 but regardless you'll still be getting the same frame rates so don't expect anything crazy all right don't ex don't be expecting uh, rg strix and uh, aos levels of performance those are the high end graphics cards so i'm just telling you that in case if you do not know how the graphics cards uh, market has been broken down into so there's the low uh, low end variant there's the budget variant and there's the mid uh, variant and then the uh, top end variant. The last four numbers is my fan speed percentage and the fan RPM. I have two fans on my GPU. The final memory is the overall memory usage, the VRAM usage of the game. And this is the memory clock speed. LIM means if the, the current power uh, utilization of the GPU. Okay, so now I have told you all the important information regarding my hardware and software. If you've come this far into the video, please do consider giving this video a thumbs up. Do hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications for all on this channel. I also do live streams of various video games. I do gameplay videos. Sometimes I do upload off topic content. If you can do that, it would be nice. It helps me a lot. Uh, I can keep doing what I'm doing and I can keep offering a wonderful content to you guys. So now all that being said, let's do ray tracing along with the epic preset. Let's see how the game runs. So as you can see right now, I'm going down. 
going to turn on ray tracing. So we'll do high. Oh, there's even epic for ray trace. Okay, this is going to be insane. I don't think it, it's going to be a good benchmark. Well, let's give it a try anyway. Let's give it a try. So here goes. Epic preset with epic ray tracing settings. Epic shadows and epic ray traced reflections. Alright, so we've completed the benchmark run for Epic preset with Epic Ray Traced settings turned on. And honestly, the performance is not that bad, considering it's very similar to having no ray tracing turned on. So that's not really a big deal. So the next one is going to be high preset without ray tracing turned on. So let's continue. All right, on a side note, I'm sorry. Uh, looks like DLSS was turned on when I had the Epic preset uh, turned on. Okay, let's get back to the uh, settings. So we are right now, we have set it to high. Ray tracing has been turned off. So let's continue.
all right so we have completed the high preset and you can see that it's a little better here so with high preset turned on and ray tracing turned off the minimum value is 51 frames maximum is 140 and the average is 86 frames so i think this is the best optimized preset that you can use if you want to play this game with a good experience that being said let's move on to ray tracing turned on and high preset turned on let's continue so over here we are going to turn on ray traced shadows to high and ray traced reflections to high everything else shall remain the same so it is still the high preset Alright, so we have completed the high graphics preset along with ray traced reflections and shadows also turned up to high. And you can see the, the results are not really that bad. This is actually a very decent game. So I think uh, if you want the best frame rates uh, with or without ray tracing, it's best that you choose high. Epic is a bit too much. You don't need epic. And uh, I don't see any visual differences so far. Uh, jumping down from epic to high. Regardless of uh, if ray tracing is turned on or off, I don't see much of a difference. So I think this is the best optimized preset that you could use uh, with or without ray tracing. High is the best configuration that you can actually use in this game. So let's move on to medium. As usual, we will set the preset to medium over here at the top and we'll scroll down. Turn off the ray tracing and do a benchmark with medium turned on. DLSS quality is still turned on.
We have completed the medium preset benchmark with the rate tracing turned off. The frame rates are looking even much better. We are sitting at an average of 92 FPS average. Maximum 168, which is actually very good. Minimum is 47, which is actually a bit disappointing, but I think that has a lot to do with my CPU. So you can uh, safely ignore that. Now we shall be moving on to medium preset turned on along with medium ray tracing turned on. So let's do that, guys. Right here, as always, DLSS quality is turned on. Ray traced shadows is going to be set to medium. Ray traced reflections is going to be turned to medium. So now we shall start the benchmark. We have completed the medium benchmark along with medium ray tracing turned on. The last time we saw that the average frame rate was at 90. Here we are sitting at 78, but that's honestly not that bad. Maximum 146, minimum 37. So now we shall be moving on to the last section of this benchmark, which is the low preset. So let's continue. As always, VSync turned off, DLSS turned on, quality mode, low preset.
All right, so very similar to medium, the average uh, frame rate, 93. Maximum is 192, which is actually very good. Minimum is, as always, a bit disappointing, but I think that is my CPU. So now the last one we're going to be doing is low with low ray tracing turned on. So let's continue. Okay, so as always, DLS is turned on, quality mode turned on, low ray trace shadows, low ray trace reflections and the low preset turned on. Alright, so we have completed the final benchmark run for low with ray tracing turned on and low preset turned on. So yes, screen optimizations, which is DLSS, is turned off. Let's set the high preset. Ray trace shadows and reflections are turned off. So let's continue.
All right, so we have completed the high preset benchmark with no ray tracing and DLSS turned on. Average frame rate is 72, max 157, minimum 41. These are good values. All right, so I think that's it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Yes, I haven't done the gameplay benchmark of this uh, game. But if you would like to see it, don't forget to comment down below. And if you would like to see other content or if you have any suggestions or feedback to offer to me, you can also comment those as well. So if you have watched the entire video and you, you have liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button. Do share this video with your friends and families if they do play this game on similar hardware as mine. Last but not the least, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Turn on bell notifications to all so that you don't miss out on any content from my channel. And with that being said, I'm going to end this video right here. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Goodbye.